everybody, it's Heather and I have a Goodwill haul today for you. Um, and I did go today, which is Tuesday, <clears throat> and I believe my total was about $52. And again, I did shop at the Goodwill Pound Store. Clothes are all weighed at $0.99 cents a pound, and all the hard goods like pencils, books, purses are all $0.75 cents a pound. And all the shoes are $2 a shoe, whether it's heavy shoes, light shoes, sandals, or boots, they're all $2. Um, if you need to know more information about how all this works or why I do this and how often, um, just go uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and you'll get a few emails on some upcoming um, e uh, videos that I'll be doing. As well, you can check out my channel and I go into more detail. So I've got two or three bags, but two of them are pretty large. So I'm going to go quickly before my hubby gets home with the, the smallest kid. Um, so I have a small bag like this. <clears throat> then I have a very large bag like this. Ooh, and another large bag like that. And again, all of that cost about $52. Um, so 99 cents a pound for the clothes and I'll kind of show you what else I got. Okay, so I guess I'm going to get into the largest bag here. And I always see this tag and I can never figure out if it's Forever 21 or Free the People because it has a bird. doesn't say, but it is polyester. Y'all let me know in the comments below if anybody's watching my videos that actually does thrifting. Um, this tag I see a lot. The birdhouse, but it doesn't have the name or the brand. Um, so it's just a cute little chevron dress. And I do have the belt here. So another girl put this back and I went ahead and got it um, just because I love the royal dark blue um, and chevron is very popular. I deba <clears throat> debated on putting this back, which I do that a lot in my videos. I debate on whether I'm going to get stuff and a lot of it I put back and a lot of it I keep or some of it I give to other people who may want it. Um, but this is a really heavy item. It um, was 99 cents a pound. It's just a, um, like a petticoat, like wool black men's coat. Um, but it's cool because it has a separate, like, cotton collar there. Um, but this is in excellent condition from what I've seen. It's uh, jeans by Buffalo, and it's a size small. It says, uh... I can't read that. Original or something for your daily pleasure. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I know this jacket cost like at least $100 to $200 brand new. Buffalo is a pretty good brand. Here in my town, it's considered the mall. So anything from the mall is pretty good. I wonder if this buzz ball is there. <clears throat> I got a couple sleep pajamas, um, just uh, some of them may not match, but we're short on, we don't have very many pants, so these are just like a Mickey Mouse 4T for my little son. Throwing that in the dirty clothes over there. And this is totally in season, so I got this. Um, it's a loft sweater, but it's pretty cool because it's got stripes, but then it has like these little ball looking designs all throughout it so it's kind of like textured so this is really cute I would totally wear this it's a size medium and I'll tell you the fabric is acrylic 40% acrylic and 30% wool so most of all my items go for sale in Poshmark even though I do have a few items here I would love to list on eBay but I haven't really been selling on eBay. Um, someone had uh, left this in their cart and we were all going through what they didn't end up shopping. I don't know if they had, a, had to leave or what, but this is a 4T um, Little Boys Under Armour P90 
pants and we're totally keeping this for my son. There's no nits in this, no stains. The Under Armour logo has like no peeling or anything. <coughs> it's in great condition. <coughs> and I'm sorry, I had to pick that up so I can throw it further over there in the laundry room. Um, I don't know if my husband will wear this, but I thought maybe I could resell it if he doesn't like it. It's kind of girly looking, but it's Kenneth Cole New York Extra Large 55% rayon and 45 wool. So there's the tag there. Never heard of the Kenneth Cole New York, just Kenneth Cole. But yeah, it's really good condition. No stains and no holes. Some girl was putting back a lot of these items and this is super cute. I know it's more like a summer tank, but it's really thick like a sweater. Um, but it's it's wider at the bottom. And I just love this top. It's by Blue Pepper. I believe that's a boutique brand. I don't know, I could be wrong. But it's super cute. It's got like baby pink and baby green and baby purple colors. <clears throat> almost put this back too but it's in really good condition and it's apple bottom like apple bottom jeans I should have looked up the comps if this even sells but it's just like a denim um, tunic long tunic but it's like cinched in the back and it's got a silver logo on the front that says apple bottom yes apple bottoms and it has the apple on there so I went ahead and got this, and it is it is short sleeve though, unfortunately. <clears throat> Here's a Michael Kors dress. It's a maxi, and you could wear a long cardigan with this. On the back, you can see it has the Michael Kors silver logo. I typically get a lot of Michael Kors clothes there. They don't really sell for much, but it says it's an extra small, but it's super stretchy really long maxi dress like so striped it's like a turquoise green green blue color it's not picking up in the light today sorry <clears throat> i don't know if i should have got this i don't really sell too many crop tops but i thought it was cute and it's got a really nice little logo tag here soul cake i liked the name and then it's got this anchor on the front and it's kind of like furry lace kind of like so I don't know I thought it was okay it's really soft let's see what the fabric is rayon and spandex <clears throat> this was cute I debated on putting it back there's no padding in the chest but you can see through the sides these look really good on people but it's super short it's like a mini dress and it zips in the back. As you can see, the sides have see-through lace that you can see through. And I never heard of this brand before. It says <clears throat> Exterran or something. So that's that little mini dress. <clears throat> I picked up this um, other dress. It's more of a spring summer thing, but completely see-through at the chest top shoulder area if you have a nice tattoo to show off um, but it is love and fire a size medium and it's just a cute little summer dress that buttons up this is really cute too probably too small for me uh, it's called million bull pop never heard of that but it's a half sleeve, long sleeve dress with, does it have paisley? I don't see paisley. It's kind of like tribal. I don't know. What would y'all call this print? Call it just a funky tribal. Yeah, that is paisley, isn't it? Kind of like. Not sure. Kind of looks, yeah, that paisley loopy loops there. So that's cute. I don't know what size this is. It is a small and it's made of 100% poly, ester. 
pick this up for my little one as well. I probably have too many sleepers now. Um, it's a four or five T. We really like these long sleep ups because he throws his clothes off and blankets off at night. I might just catch one of my clothes on fire over here, right? That would be funny for y'all. Not for me. <clears throat> okay, I think I'll sell this, but it's so soft. I can't even describe to you guys how soft it is. It's an ATM um, college like bathrobe. But wow, I wish I could find the tag on what it is. This fabric is like silky soft cotton. It is amazing. It's like a baby blanket, like so soft. <clears throat> this was cute and it's RD style, a size medium. There's the tag. But it's a real, I love stripes, you guys. I love color block and all that. Um, it's a cut off, sleeveless, got a pocket, long sleeve, and it's got these long slits on the side. Just really think this is very hip and cool. <clears throat> this is a really cool maxi dress. I don't think it's much of a, too good of a brand, but it says hypnotized something maybe traumatized I don't know hypnotized tantalized I don't know polyester and spandex but it kind of reminds me of a peacock you probably can't see it but let's see it reminds me of a peacock but I don't think that the, it's not actually a peacock but see even right there this pattern over here looks like a peacock to me Super long maxi dress, um, has no padding in the top area. So yeah. <clears throat> Here's another striped, what is this? It's a dress. It's a uh, olive and oak, a size medium, and it's a super long maxi dress. They should actually have this labeled as a size large because it is really, really big. But it's got the cool, striped color block trim at the bottom and it is high-low even though it's a maxi muscle dress whatever you want to call it i like this too for around the house or just on the weekends <clears throat> another girl put this back it's super cute um i don't know if you'd call that chevron but i might put it in the description it's not really it's kind of like a all that I can't think of the name right now but it's just a simple little dress kind of like the chevron ones that I've sold before and it zips all the way down the back and it's hello miss brand never heard of it and it's a size small okay. and I've never heard of this brand either but it was kind of stylish it's a gold sweater dress and it's got it's gold. It's black with gold all throughout it. I know my lighting is terrible. I'm going to have to fix that soon. Okay, so there's the tag, and I've never heard of this either. T slash O or two. Extra large, even though it totally would pass as a medium or a large instead of an extra large. Goes past my knees. Probably about the my calf area. Then it's got this teardrop back as well. So what is this made of? It's really thick. 91% acrylic and the rest is polyester. I don't sell Hollister too much, but since this is, was a cool little knit Hollister sweater and it had the cool little logo that, you know, kids just love to show off. Um, where is it? At the end in the front. Says Hollister and it's kind of brand new. I went ahead and got this to sell on Poshmark. Extra small. I don't see any flaws. It feels brand new. It's got some kind of grass on it, but yeah, pretty nice. It's really soft. Wouldn't be surprised if it's made of acrylic too. I'm not going to look through all Hollister's cheap or 
weird Chinese tags that they have all over their clothes. It's weird. <clears throat> okay, I got this. It's Kato. That makes it real dark in here, doesn't it? Let me see here. Okay. So, Goodwill, this probably was trying to sell in the Goodwill actual stores for, you know, $2.99, $3.99, $5.99. I don't know how much they sell it for. But it's got Kato's as original tags. Just the price was taken off. But it's just a cute little, meh, cute little long sleeve, super soft, uh, like, sweater, kind of. Kind of thin, though. And it is rayon and nylon. Let me fold this up. I thought it was cute with the striped neckline that's V-cut and the buttons. And it also comes with an extra button, too. Okay, so I got this because Gap does seem to sell pretty well, but I don't come across this very often. It's a Gap medium tall, and it's just a sweater, guys, with pockets. That's it. No stains, no holes. <clears throat> I'm totally going to keep these coral, not coral, Cobalt Royal Blue um, tights. They have the open leg, so you can wear these with booties or whatever. Here's another Gap item, but this one's in a little bit better condition, and it's a Gap large, just a sweater, the charcoal color. Thought it looked comfy. Maybe I'll bring this bag up here or not. Um, I debated on putting this back, but it's a Neiman Marcus um, exclusive. It says it's an extra, extra large, but it's like itty bitty. It's just got some fuzz on it that I need to take off. Um, but yeah, the fabric is really nice. It's 70% merino wool and 20% silk and 10% cashmere. Long sleeve sweater. <clears throat> I don't see any flaws that may need a sweater shaver. Get the little fuzzies off. This is cool. I really like that I got this. It's got a hood. Um, and it's a, like a sports jacket. But it's made by Nike. And there are no flaws on it. It's got, what's that tag there? That's weird. Very funky, colorful tag. I've never seen Nike have. Yeah, it um, just needs to be washed, but yeah, I don't see any holes or any flaws on it as well. It is a size small, four to six. What time is it? 5.30. Okay, I better hurry. I got this for my oldest kid, even though he doesn't wear pajamas anymore, but we'll go throw that in the laundry. Or we'll give it to my nephew. Not sure why I really got these, but they just look like a natural gourmet brand, but it says eucalyptus on there, and it looks like it came from, like, the mall, maybe, but it's handcrafted in Guatemala. It's 100% cotton, um, and they're just, like, some comfy, like, capri shorts that I thought I was going to see if they'd fit me, and luckily they have pockets. They're really thin, so it probably shows your underwear chonies underneath of that white fabric. You have to wear something underneath of it. Um, again, another crop top. The only reason why I got this kind of hideous gangster looking shirt is what I'd call it is because it's by Nicki Minaj, and it's kind of new. So, that's not picking up at all Ta -da. okay yeah you get the picture Nicki Minaj kisses to my barbs what does that say kisses to my barbies oh b-a-r-b-z barbies I'm so cool and hip aren't I I thought this was cute um, it's in really good condition. It's by just peanuts. I don't even know why I got this guys, but I just thought it was cute and it's got Yeah, 
yeah, like a chevron aztec -y kind of like little print. So it looks hip, and it's totally winter time, fall coming right now. Okay, and what do we have here? Just a polo Ralph Lauren by itself um, sleeper for a man with a red logo. I don't have the pants to these, but I thought maybe somebody would want the top, and it's really good quality. So that's a large. I got these cute little shoes. They're a size 6 medium. I think they're for kids, but they're by Rocket Dog. They're kind of... Indian -y booties. Wow, my camera thing is not picking up. Yeah, they're like, I don't know what you call it. I can't think of the word right now since I'm trying to hurry, but Aztec Indian kind of boots. Says K9 on the bottom. They're in almost new condition to me. So, what it looks like. <clears throat> I got this large. Ralph Lauren sweater and I think my husband might like this and I think it might have a stain on it I don't know but I'm gonna treat it and see if it'll come out I think it's over there yeah right there they got some stains on it so I'm gonna pre-treat it and even so that's not a big stain over there we'll just treat it and hopefully it'll be lighter or come out <clears throat> Allergies are terrible lately, guys. I think I needed to start taking some allergy medicine again because I've been having headaches for no reason. Um, this is super cool. It still has the tags from Urban Outfitters for a price of $59. And the brand is Silence and Noise, made in Vietnam. It's a large, it's real slinky, and it's just like a dress. These look really cute with tights on, um, and there is not a darn thing wrong with this item. It's like a dress tunic, tunic, 64% model, modal, and 36% polyester. Got some more sleep items for my kids. This one comes with shorts, luckily. Matches the Avengers. We'll wash those. And then just a Mickey Mouse top again. I don't know if I had pants earlier. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's awesome. Those are sets. So, yeah. Okay. DKNY. Looks like it was maybe only used once or twice. It's just a rayon and acrylic simple light baby blue sweater shirt. Okay, moving along. Moving along, I'm gonna have to cut this carrot. <clears throat> Let's get into the little bag. So maybe I'll finish that one in case this, I have to end this video. So here's an F for family, or I have a friend whose last name starts with an F, but they're not returning my calls. So I don't know if I'll give this to them or not. Um, maybe she'll call me soon. But yeah, I thought this was pretty cute as a decor item. This was 75 cents a pound. So, yeah, it probably weighed a dollar or less, maybe. <clears throat> so I picked up these cute Tom's shoes for little girls, and there's no holes or anything. They might need to be washed a little bit. But the reason why I really got these is because they're a Disney. It's a Small World Disney um, Youth 12 Tom's shoes, and they just have, like, hearts or something. So I paid $2 for those. <clears throat> I got these ugly Prada shoes. Like the expensive brand Prada. They're kind of like denim. They're like a denim fabric. And then a brown leather strap. Um, they just need to be cleaned up a little bit. But they are in really good condition. So not sure how much those will go for. <clears throat> I got two of these shoes, and I don't know if I'll make anything off of these, but they are from Talbots, and I have a black and a brown, and they both, I'll show you the brown since they pick up, they both have, I wish I knew the design on this, the style, like where it, I don't know, 
So it ties all the way up in the middle, like so, and they're both like that. This one has like ribbon strings. And the heels have like no scuffs at all. They just need to be wiped down. Um, yeah, they're in really good condition and they're made in Italy and they're both a size six and a six B, I think. <clears throat> so I got those two. Again, the shoes are all $2 each. Never really heard of this brand, but I did buy a pair of red ugly shoes. I recently did a video on, I haven't listed them yet. But as I was looking at the shoes again today, I saw the same brand um, that I've looked up on Poshmark and it sells pretty good. Donald J. Pliner. And these are just some funky silver shoes that look like they were only worn once. So, <clears throat> yeah. Donald J. Pliner. Okay. I got these for my kid to clean up. He's really into Converse, but I don't know if these will fit him. So we'll have to check him out, but they're in really good condition. Just need to be cleaned down. So two bucks for a $40 or $60 pair of Converse. Um, I got some envelopes that were just randomly in uh, the box. Just some mailing envelopes. I think I'm running short on those. A little wallet, since my little boys like to play with wallets. I probably shouldn't have gotten this because they both have a wallet, but in case they lose it or something. Maybe I'll give it in a gift because it looks brand new like somebody just bought it at the store. So it's just an army camo little Velcro wallet. What else is in here? I don't know why I got this, but it's vintage. I noticed because the Batman... Or it's orange instead of like a yellow and then I was talking to someone about it I don't know somebody gave it to me or I was showing it and my little four-year-old loves Batman but this is an adult size I don't know I might look at the comps but this is a DC Comics Incorporated 1964 so it's a really really vintage hat so we'll have to check that out I have to hide it from my four-year-old first so he doesn't see it. <clears throat> okay, so here's another man's sweater. It may be too girly for my husband. I don't know. He actually might like this, but it is really, really nice and really soft. Alan Flusser? And it's wool and acrylic? Never heard of this brand. Don't even know where they sell it. Boop, right there. Alan Lesser. No falls that I've seen at all. <clears throat> oh, I meant to look this up before I bought this, but I thought I heard Nicole State here, a huge thifter on YouTube, talk about Tommy Bahama. It's 100% cotton. It's a really ugly, like, looks like that's just food. It needs to be cleaned. I don't know. It's but it's a really thick sweater, 100% wool, and it's cute little zip up. So I went ahead and got it. I should have put that back or looked up the comps before I ever weighed that. I'm not sure if it was a good buy or not. <clears throat> I still need to do research, don't I? Just get impatient and don't want to look stuff up when I've been there for a couple hours. So... Um, this is a dress, but it has like a built-in bra. It's by Tavolio. Never heard of it. Size 6. It's really cute because it shows your upper shoulder line again if you have tattoos. It's a brown, like purple color. And it's just a dress, guys. Buttons in the back. One of the best finds yet. This will like bring me in at least 20, 25 bucks. This is a pink sweater, but on the back it has the pink and it's not even peeling at all. It's like brand new guys. So yeah, so cool. Love purple. Size small, but totally fits like a medium. Really awesome purple and white sweater. I will probably be listing this tonight if anyone's interested. This is guaranteed to get me money within a couple days. 
can't go wrong with pink. Yep. It's perfect, guys. Maybe it just didn't fit them. It was too big, and that's why they donated it. This pink is so big. This is cool. My husband might like it if it fits him. It's a Lacoste uh, sweater for a man. It's baby blue with a brown neckline and green trim. It's got the alligator. No flaws. Super duper heavy. Feels like I probably paid $5 for this bad boy. RN number 87651 on that. Long sleeve. It's 100% cotton. I have buyers that only want 100% cotton. Always be sure to tell people if you sell online what the fabric is because some people are looking for only wool or only cashmere. So if you don't put that in your descriptions, they're not going to find you. I had a couple button down, um, really nice men's, um, long sleeve, awesome shirts, but I kind of put them back because I didn't do the research if they were even profitable, but here's a sweater, sweater I found that I did keep. It's a large, it's 100% lambs. Ooh, lamb's wool made in Hong Kong. Brooks Brothers extra fine Italian lamb's wool. It's like a goody good sweater for a man. It's like a rich boy sweater is what it looks like. Church sweater. I don't know what you would call that design either. Let me know. Help a sister out, right? I pointed way out here and y'all can't see anyway. Help a sister out. <clears throat> this was a good find, you guys. I sell rompers like crazy, especially in the summer. The reason why this is an awesome find is because I can just tell by holding it and picking it up that it is a heavy, thick, thick material. This looks like an Aztec romper. It's shorts. It's a short and a shirt in one. We call these rompers if you sell online. And the brand and the size is a medium. There's the brand Do and B. Pretty cool. It's got pockets. Everybody loves pockets. Okay, what's this? I don't know why I got this because these don't really sell much for me, but it's Volcom. This like a skateboarder brand. It's got the logo there. It's like a workout tank top. Okay. Um, I got these. I think it yeah, it's new with tags. I've never gotten a flying tomato brand. Okay, so it actually ties in the back like that with these strings, but it's got the crochet knit top. Okay, so it is just a shirt. And it is a really popular brand. It has a price of $28 on the back here, but it's Flying Tomato. And it was sold at a boutique here in Texas, the Polka Dot Alley. They were going to sell it for $28. It's a tank. Really cool. Love when you get new with tag stuff. This is super, super duper soft, and that's why I got it. It's like a vest sweater. It's called Pretty Good, and it's got the cinched back, and you can tie it tighter. Um, it is so soft, you guys. It's a small rayon, pandex, and polyester. I got a Under Armour tank top to work out in, run in. Uh, it's got the Under Armour logo down there. There is not a darn thing wrong with this Under Armour small top. Heat gear is what it says. These are funky. I don't even know if these are pants. They look like they are sleep pants, but they're not. And they are actually bell bottoms. Isn't that cool? Well, they look bell bottomy. Maybe boot cut. But these are like silky soft. Silky, silky. La Chocolate, Choco, 
chocolate, la chocolate, la chocolate. Okay, sorry. Fabric, what are you? What size are you? We have a size 40. It's in a foreign language. It's, um, I think it says it's made in Brazil. I don't know. But it's, I think it's polyester, and in Spanish it's algodeo and elastano. It doesn't even say it in English. They are totally bell bottoms, guys. You can't, yeah, total bell bottoms. These are styling. They even got pockets. They feel like silk. Okay. These need to be folded correctly so they don't wrinkle in my picture. Yeah. Pretty cool. Got a tie-dye top here. Didn't really inspect this because I was in a hurry and I knew it was just super cute. And if it had a flaw, I'd fix it, but I didn't see any stains. Oh, man, it's so cute. It's really a, like a medium, but it's a blue and white. <clears throat> it's got this cool crisscross back. It's inside out, actually, so I can show you the tag real easy. Rav... Revaya, a size small. It's probably cotton. I should have put this back, but I don't even know what this is. It's some kind of top with a bunch of heavy beads, but it says it's 100% silk. Where's the tag? Marissa K. It's so fancy. It even has a diamond in the tag at the end of the K. That's cool. Okay, I picked up a pair of capris by Cabby. C-A-B-I, a size 10. They're like cargo. I don't see any stains. They're a color white. <clears throat> Almost done, guys. This has like a butterfly back. Um, but the only reason why I got this was because of the tag looked cool, too. Kira? 100% rayon. It's got this sewed on like anthropology like tag. So I'll have to look this up. So I went ahead and got it because the tag was really cool sewed on patch. I'll have to do some research on that. I got a really cool size small pink shirt. Nothing wrong with it. Probably belonged to the girl with the purple sweater a minute ago. This has no flaws at all. It's got a little sweater peeling that I could take off. You didn't see that, but it's a little worse than what I showed you. Um, this was just cute. I don't know why I got it because t-shirts don't sell for too much, but it's a hand holding a flower and it's by Vans, size small. Feels brand new and that's really kind of why I got it. It was because it's in mint perfect condition. I picked up this cool sweater. It's really funky. Made in Otavo, Otavalo, Ecuador. ECC Ecuador Clothing Company. Made in Ecuador. Size 4 is what it says. But it's a animal kind. And it's really like, doesn't feel comfortable, guys. It's like a thick, hard, retro fabric. Guess it'll keep them warm. 50% cotton and 50% wool. Handmade in Ecuador. Pretty cool, huh? I'll just look these up on probably eBay and see how much they go for. But I don't see anything wrong with it. Let me see if the zipper works, which it looks like it does. Yep. Like, the zipper is, like, brand new. Like, they didn't even wear it. Oh, my nails broke off today. Totally not matching. I need to paint my nails. Okay, almost done. So I think I'm going to keep this shirt for myself. It says love and it's pink. It's super soft and stretchy. What does it say? Occasion? Occasion? Might be too big for me because it's real slinky and soft. But they cut the size tag off. It's rayon and probably spandex. Yep, that's probably like a large or an extra large, so I may not be able to wear this, especially because it's got the huge V cut, but it might work. Yeah, it's really, really feeling. See how wide that is? 
It's really coming out like an extra large or a large. Ooh, and I got this before I was about to leave. I've been seeing all the realtors wear this around the office. Some of the mega agent realtors, but this is a cape. And it's, well, it's just like a shawl. It's not picking it up, but it's got this cool, like, um, tooth claw, whatever. And it's got some leather around it where it connects. It says it's one size and it's got a V. I don't know if it has the brand on here or the fabric. I don't see any of that. But yeah, it's like a orange, red, leopard, cheetah kind of print. So I went ahead and picked that up. It's It could fit a big woman too because it's very wide and it's large. My hubby will like this one, I think. We need to go through his closet and mine and get rid of some clothes. We'll definitely donate some. But here's a Ralph Lauren um, sweater. It is a extra large, and that's exactly the size he wears. It's 100% cotton. And it's got a blue horse logo. But yeah, I don't see any flaws on here at all. He will like it. We got this much to go, guys, and we're done, okay? And if my hubby comes any earlier, then I will just cut it off early anyways. Let's just pull up a couple of these up here. About the video of I setting stuff up there, I'm going to try and add in this second clip to my first clip. I have never done that, where I've added in series of clips together. Let me make this screen bigger. Okay. So what I was going to show you to finish off our Goodwill outlet haul is an item that's 100% silk. It's a size 4. It needs to be cleaned the tag, I think. But the brand is Hype, H-Y-P-E. And it's like a dress, but it's like a robe. You tie it to get it to wrap, like a wrap dress, I guess. Okay, so I got this nice brand new looking towel box, petite, sport petite, long, funky, just a women's button down. Thought maybe I could sell that. And then here's a extra large Ralph Lauren polo shirt. It's okay. Um, I think it might have a spot on it that I need to pre-treat, but obviously as you can see, there's nothing really wrong with it majorly. And it's in good condition. 100% cotton, is that what it says? Yep. Awesome! This kind of reminded me of Victoria's Secret Pink, but it wasn't. But I was like, wow, this is cute. I might keep this. But the stripes are see-through. And it's divided. And it's made in Cambodia. Oh, it says H&M. I didn't know that brand was H&M. This is H&M at the bottom. This thing is super soft, and I think I'm going to keep it. Let's chunk it in the wash pile. Almost done, and Dad's here. The dogs are barking now. This is Naked Zebra. It's just like a summer spaghetti shirt. Needs to be buttoned down. This was just got had a cool print. It is Caramella, made in the USA. It's just a large, I don't even know why I got this, but it's a high-low, I guess, because caramel, caramel, thought maybe it'd be good. I don't know. Picked up a pair of uh, pink yoga pants, and it does have some sweater peeling on the lace that I need to take off, as you can see. But I don't even think any of these rhinestones are missing, are they? Don't see any. This is a pink yoga size small. They're the long all the way the pants they're not tight on the ankle they're a little wide for tennis shoes but yep that'll be good sale two more items actually three i'll show you this item that i almost put back but i thought this would be cool for even me to wear it's just from wet seal it's a spaghetti strap shirt but it's got a lot of fringe and chains that hang that need to be untangled a little but I thought maybe this would be cute underneath 
another shirt or something to go over it. So I picked that up. I don't even know the brand. Oh, I said Wet Seal. I got these because they are, man, my lighting is terrible. I'm going to move this light up here, probably up here somewhere. I don't know. But here's some Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't really buy their stuff too much, but I just thought these charcoal color gray capris might sell. Might sell. Went ahead and got it. Last item, not least, I am keeping this. I already have one of these, but this one may not be as long. It's just a long black top that I can wear um, like a vest over this. I have a couple cool vests, um, but it's Pixie and Ivy. It's got like a cropped or folded end of the sleeve there. But it's just um, wide at the bottom, so I can wear it with boots or um, some uh, tights. And like I said, just layer it on with some cool stuff. It's not picking up in this video, but all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good evening.